A few days ago, the province released their budget for their new fiscal year 2022 and 2023, and there were a couple interesting things in there about deed transfer tax and property taxes. So there's two main things to talk about here, and one of them is a 5% non-resident deed transfer tax and also a new property tax for non-Nova Scotia residents as well. So we're still awaiting some of these details, but here's what we know so far. So first, the new non-resident deed transfer tax. So starting April 1st, they're gonna have to pay an additional 5% deed transfer tax of the purchase price if you are a non-resident of Nova Scotia. So there will be an exemption in place if you're moving to Nova Scotia within six months of your closing date. So for context, before this tax was added in there, it was one and a half percent of the purchase price that the buyer is going to have to pay. And now this 5% will be on top of that. So the initial deed transfer tax would have been $7,500 on a $500,000 purchase. And now there's going to be an additional $25,000 on top of that. And this new deed transfer tax is projected to make $15.5 million in the 2022-2023 fiscal year budget. So now on to part two, the additional non-resident property tax. So effective for the 2022-2023 tax year, Year, the province has added a new non-resident property tax of $2 for every $100 worth of your assessed value if you're a non-Nova Scotia resident. So this tax will not apply to properties that are over three units or properties that are rented to a Nova Scotia resident for a minimum of a 12 month lease. This one is a big one. So for reference, if your property is assessed at $500,000, this would be an additional $10,000 a year in property taxes that this owner is going to pay. And finally, the province is projecting to make about $65.5 million in the 2022-2023 fiscal year from this new property tax that they're adding in. So before I get into any more details about this announcement and really my opinion of it, quite frankly, if you like this content and you wanna see more, please click the like and subscribe button below. I post two videos a week on YouTube about the Halifax real estate market and buyer and seller tips. And furthermore, if you wanna book an appointment with me to chat anytime about real estate, you can use my Calendly link below in the description and you can book a time to call or set up a meeting when it's convenient for you. So in my opinion, this is the province's attempt to cool the market, I guess. I don't know. It's honestly, it's hilarious because I think this is honestly going to do more harm than good to Nova Scotians in the grand scheme of things. This announcement will likely not affect the Halifax area that much, honestly, and in my regular everyday business because most of the out-of-town buyers we're seeing coming from Ontario or out west they're actually moving here. They're coming home or they're moving to Nova Scotia for a different way of life. So they would be exempt from this deed transfer tax anyway, and they're gonna live here, so they're exempt from the property tax as well. Also, anybody moving here from Ontario or out west or other these other provinces, they have really deep pockets. So I really doubt this extra 5% is really gonna make a big difference in the grand scheme of things to our marketplace. So really, it just, to me, seems like a cash grab from the province. And I'd be really curious to see what they're actually planning to do with this extra $81 million they're projecting. However, I do see this potentially affecting the rural markets in Nova Scotia a lot more than it does the Halifax market. So a lot of these non Nova Scotia residents own properties in the rural areas such as Lunenburg County, for example, Cumberland County, and so on. And they're owning these properties as summer homes. So they're coming here in the summertime and they're staying and they're investing their out of province money back into our own economy. And now maybe they are gonna be looking to sell or maybe not, or maybe they just won't come here at all, who knows. But the reality is this is gonna hurt those markets a lot more than the Halifax market. I also just don't see this as fair at all because a lot of these non-residents of Nova Scotia are actually from Nova Scotia. They just moved out of town for work or whatever it was years ago and they still own property here to visit whenever they can get back for visiting family or for summer vacations and so on. So to drop this amount of money into their lap out of nowhere just seems outrageous to me and totally out of the blue and I really just think it's punishing other Nova Scotians that just don't live here full time anymore. And I just, I see it as completely outrageous to be honest with you. Something interesting to note is that our board, NSAR, Nova Scotia Association of Realtors, actually advocated very, very strongly against doing any tax measures like these, but we were obviously unsuccessful in that advocacy. But it's just interesting to note that we don't really want this. This is something the province is doing. And I think if you talk to most realtors or most people in the real estate industry as a whole, I really think that most of them are not gonna agree with this announcement, to be honest. 
Another big question I have is, I'd be really curious to see what the province is actually planning to do with this $81 million they're going to come up with from this that is projected. And really, you know, if they were going to do something with it that was some grants for first-time homebuyers coming in Nova Scotia, or it was a grant for people purchasing properties under a certain threshold, so maybe like underneath the, you know, average for the province or something along these lines, grants to get young people into properties, I might be a little more apt to say, okay, good job, that's a great announcement, but I really think it's mostly going to go to filling potholes and so on and I just don't see it as a win for anybody other than you guessed it the province themselves. I honestly have a hard time coming up with any reasons why this is a good thing and I'd be curious to hear what you think if you do have some positive remarks to make down in the comments below I would love to get some conversations started down there but some food for thought pricing was up in 2020 2021 and then so far in 2022 15 percent 25 percent and 28 percent respectively. So, in other words, the province and the municipalities are making more money off our taxes than ever before. These purchase price increases are directly affecting people's assessed values, which are directly affecting people's tax bills as well. So over the last three years, all these municipalities are making more money than they've ever made before. To sum it all up, there's really only one winner here, and that's the province. Um, I really just don't think these are going to make any difference in cooling our market. Uh, and realistically, it's just punishing quite frankly, Nova Scotians who just don't live here anymore, especially from the property tax front. It's just an outrageous amount of money to think that something that's assessed at $500,000 now has an additional $10,000 of taxes. And again, it's not gonna cool the market. It's not really gonna have a big effect in that, in my opinion. So it's not really helping Nova Scotia buyers. It's not really helping Nova Scotia residents either. So at this point, honestly, I, I see this as a bit of a fail from the province and really, we don't really know until some more details come out of how this is going to be rolled out. But at this point, to me, it looks like a fail. If you're still here watching, I would love to hear what you think in the comments below. And I will look at all the comments and hopefully get some conversations started as well. So if you have any positive things to add, please definitely comment them because I would love to hear them. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day.